hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so in um, this video i want to share an update um a lot of you may know the story if you don't know the story there's a young uh, primary school sorry secondary school girl and uh, she went for the school in nigeria they call it inter house sports but what's but basically is a school sports day and the next thing long story short the mother went to attend to see the thing to watch the, the the you know the sports and everything she got there and she found out that the child was already rushed into a hospital she got there and they told her the child is already gone as in gone you know what i mean you know what i mean and the mother couldn't believe it like my child there was nothing wrong with my child when i sent her to school this morning and all of that long story the school claimed that the girl just collapsed and i remember i'm one of those that said you know because the stories were here and there some children they said i think some children that were there said that the girl got electrocuted right and um, but the school said no they said she just collapsed and died and the mother was really in pain the parents were in pain they wanted to know what exactly happened to their daughter and i remember I'm one of those that said you know so because the mother kept on saying my there was nothing wrong with my child you know my child was well and i said well i'm one of those that said it can um sudden exit can happen so because the child was well doesn't necessarily mean anything um something like a sudden uh, cardiac what do you call it now sudden uh, um in, in infants they are called sudden infant death in adult it's called sudden adult death and i said the best thing i just said while the investigation is going on whatever it would be a good thing for the parents to check the other children to be on the safe side and i still believe in that because when something happened you always kind of like okay what if what if so i just felt like it was a good thing to check it out just to be sure to rule out there's nothing cardiac cardiac heart nothing wrong with the other children but anyways long story short they said the autopsy revealed the mother kept on saying tell me what happened to my child because i don't want to have to caught her up and uh, as in she didn't want to go ahead with autopsy so basically they did autopsy and the mother came back and said that the autopsy said that she died from electrocution so it's, a, it's not been very clear how the electrocution happened but all the while the school is a long story but let me just read to you guys the publication that the school uh, made we are sorry we are deeply saddened and sorry about Whitney's death we are remorseful and sorry to witness parents. We are sorry to our parents and to our parents and the entire community that host our school. We are also very sorry to the nation at large. It was a huge loss to the school. We express an equal measure, equal measure of apology to the Nigerian media. Another critical stakeholder in case we have sent unbearable quiet signals we have acquired because this death was so shocking we opted more for introspection moral rectitude rather than strutting around the media space to see his narrative more so we considered it imperative to allow the parents and the in, and indeed the entire uh, adeni royal family the honor of their privacy as we all mourn this unfortunate loss whitney adeni royal was a bright and lovely student she was popular and friendly her memory lives with us we hereby vehemently refute the claim making the rounds that Christland school intends to exhume whitney's body we have no such plan and assure the public that we are also parents in mourning and will not do or subscribe to anything that paints such that paints such insensitive optics that prevents our dear daughter from resting we assure you all that no such thing will happen rather than do this plans are on the way to immortalize whitney's name so she can remain indelible in our consciousness this is without prejudice to the ongoing coroner inquest but it is a, a honor we owe her responding to every social and misinformation uh, peddled therefore does not serve this purpose and we therefore continue to uphold restraint unfortunately this quiet is coming with regrettable misconstrued conclusions nonetheless chrisland schools schools will continue to cooperate with the authorities throughout the duration of the investigation and also offer the parents every necessary support in this grieving period in the meantime we have continue to engage the adeni runs we are not relenting because she is our daughter too and we shall always be there with the family to navigate this dark period to all those who have stood truly by us and the adeni runs at this trying moment we convey our sincere gratitude signed management you know 
finally they've spoken initially you know the, because the parents kept on insisting we want the full information you see at the end of the day there is so much you'll be wondering about electrocution from what how come she was the only one at that particular spot what how did it happen the details are still sketchy and we all know that when things like this happen it's typical for whoever is involved to want to to want to cover their tracks and want to protect their um, establishment or organization in this case a school and uh, try to avoid being blamed and you know what so why a lot of nigerians are really angry with the school is that it's not the first time their name has been mentioned with something negative you understand so it becomes like they have a record of, of um thank god the last one I did not warrant the exit of somebody's uh, child but this time around that is what it is some people believe the school were aware but they were trying to cover up some people you know they were trying to cover up because they didn't want to be held responsible and then um, it's kind of you know see there were before we complained when um one other child you know but that was not the same school and we say oh, why do you put children in boarding school don't put in boarding school boarding school is no good this one now is not boarding school this one is the day school parents drop in the morning collect in the evening you understand this is one of the most expensive schools if i'm not mistaken one of the most expensive schools in lagos recently i think she's a celebrity you know the nigerian celebrity just came out and made it public that she's removing her child from the school it's just it's such a sad story all around i don't even know at this moment like i know fine the parents can decide to sue and all of that which they can you know and the whole school may want to want to pay out some kind of compensation no matter you know that's the saddest part is that no matter what happens even if the school decides to pay the parents massive compensation or if the parents you know the saddest part is that that young girl cannot be brought back such a beautiful young girl that young girl cannot be brought back that's it she's gone just like that just like that i watched the video of where they went to bury the the, the girl and the mother was there was something she kept on saying in yoga language it's like what have i you know she's like what has she come here to do like at the graveyard you know what has she come here to do like she is too much for her to process that she's about to leave her child in the ground at this place the child she dropped off to school that day and that was it it's it's a sad story all around completely sad story all around and uh, i don't know you know you know anyway i saw that and i know because we already shared the story i just said let me share that update with you guys and so at least the school is accepting or oh, it looks like it they are accepting the result of the autopsy like i just read they were saying they are not planning to do like go and assume her because i think there's a rumor going on that the school wants to go and do their own um assume her and do their own whatever so they are basically clearing that up and uh, anyways like i said we already covered the story i felt like it's an update you know and i just wanted to share with you guys as always whatever you you want to talk about you know, whatever your opinions are please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and with that i'm gonna say thank you for watching until the next time guys bye bye Bye.